What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video. So we got the boy Norm. What's going on guys? Anyway, he brought his E36 M3 that he just got. We drove it home, so go check out my last video. I'm noticing things as we the more we look at it. There's another little dent right here. Oh no. It is, is old. There actually? It's, it's a 99. Oh. We gotta just stop looking at it, guys. We gotta stop looking at it. The problem is I need to stop looking at it. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take apart the interior, I think. Honestly, clean it up. The whole interior out. Like, we should I see what's missing. Because even yeah. all these door panels, I know like I wanted to remove this. Yeah, I want to, yeah. you know, the other one's missing a whole bunch of things on the door. I want to replace, I'm just trying to remove everything you see we're missing and then make a list. You know what I mean? And then like, we're going to clean it all too because yeah. these carpets are really bad. I'm going to go ahead and do my carpet cleaning. So go check out that video. I already have a video on that. But yeah, we're just going to take it apart, make it look really nice. Probably do like mostly time lapse, just a little transformation video. I think it will be pretty cool. Go check out Noor's videos because he's going to have more videos on this car. And so if you guys are the giveaway, and there's a giveaway, channel, yeah. There's a giveaway on this car too. This so. is completely free. Like I'm not, it's not pay to enter. It's completely free. You just gotta subscribe. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking apart everything, taking the seats out, all the seats, uh, the door panels. Gonna get them nice and clean, clean the carpet. So let's go ahead and get into that. Oh. Now that one's that one's this shot. One's, this one's bad. Before we actually start anything, let's go ahead and get some gloves on. This is gonna be really disgusting and not nice. I mean, it just looks bad as it is. Dude, the satisfaction of the restoration is insane. I know, it's gonna be super nice. The carpets are gonna look really good. That's what I'm like excited for. It only like refines. All right guys, we can't move the seat forward because it, it's like broken. <laughs> it's not a real go up like that. You get the front first. Okay. And then we'll do that. That's fine, bro. This is well, these seats are garbage. garbage. <laughs> we gotta throw these away. Let's get these. All right guys, we're having just a little bit of problems with taking off these seats. They're being a real big pain to do. Right, guys we got the first seat out it was a big pain Ugh. these are garbage we're gonna get rid of these anyway anyway guys this is what it looks like down here it's pretty dirty I'm gonna go ahead and start vacuuming I think all right guys so as you can see we got the front uh, passenger seat out. We got the rear seats out. Now this part is just like, it looks like Coca-Cola stains all over the place. These seats probably have never been taken out. Actually, it's possible like a long time ago, but it definitely looks really dirty. Even over here, it's just all bad. He's still working on that seat over there. It's being a big pain. This, I, guys, I, when, when someone tells you the seat doesn't work, you're like, yeah, it's not a big deal. I'll just replace it. Well. <laughs> How are you gonna replace it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the problem. So yeah, once he gets that seat out, we're gonna go ahead and vacuum everything. Once we get everything vacuumed, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to restore this carpet to the best of my abilities. We'll see what happens. It will definitely smell a lot better in here because it didn't really smell the best. It will smell a lot better. It will look a lot better, hopefully. And we'll get some different seats in here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with those back seats because those are pretty messed up. Might just leave it like this. Get like a plastic cover piece, maybe. We'll see. All right guys, so what I'm gonna be using is a drill bit piece. I'm using some purple power, just to get like most of the grease out. I'm gonna vacuum this up. Then after I vacuum up the purple power, I'm gonna use some of this uh, 409 carpet cleaner. Uh, let that sit for a little bit, and I'll vacuum this up as well. And hopefully it should be looking a lot, a lot better. So let's go ahead and get into that part.
All right, guys, so we finished up this side of the carpet. I used the Purple Power, the carpet cleaner, scrubbed it all in, and here are the results. It's looking a lot better than before, all clean, no more stains. It looks practically brand new. It's I'm actually crazy. shocked for $19.99 it came out this good. It actually looks like a like, brand new carpet. Nothing looks permanently stained, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, actually, there's nothing that's permanently stained. Now it's on to this side, and this side, as you can see, it's just extremely dirty, a bunch of like dirt, garbage. Um, it's stained really bad over here, yeah. over here as yeah, well. It's very stained. Right, guys so we went ahead and cleaned up the whole carpet here's what it's looking like now um, it's looking way way better like almost a hundred times better in my opinion um, I went ahead used the purple power first well vacuumed it first then used the purple power vacuumed up the purple power then used the carpet cleaner and then after the carpet cleaner I vacuumed it up again and this is the result so if you guys remember before huge huge difference way way better now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on like the center console degreasing all that the dash the steering wheel trying to clean it up as nice as possible there's not much I can do with this other than just like make it look clean I can't really restore the steering wheel it's pretty bad go ahead and get started on that <laughs> All right guys, so we went ahead and used a bunch of purple power all over just to get it kind of clean, degrease it almost. Some of this Meguiar's Natural Shine Protectant. I used this on like the dashboard and like everything around like center console just to make it look shiny, not crazy shine, but just enough to where it looks like new. Let me go ahead and spray some of this on and I'll show you guys the results of that. So we got the whole dash clean, uh, the center console clean. Now we're gonna move on to the door panels. The door panels are really bad. So I'm gonna use Purple Power first for that and I'm gonna switch over to the Meguiar's Natural Shine. All right guys, as you can see, it's kind of dirty, nothing too crazy. Definitely needs to be cleaned. Once it's clean, it's gonna look a lot better. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that.
All right guys, so right now I'm restoring all the trim pieces on like the outside and like the door panel, like the door jams with this silk shine dressing from Chemical Guys. Uh, it gives it like a nice like black trim pieces, like a really nice shine, kind of restores it, makes it look brand new. Guys, we finished up everything now for the most part. I'm gonna re-vacuum the car because it's still, I got it a little bit dirty after I uh, was in here with my feet and everything. The floor is pretty dirty, um, so I'm gonna do that. All right guys, so I finished it all up. Here's what it's looking like now, all nice and clean. This looks really, really good. The carpets are all done, both sides. I vacuumed out this part too. I did the dash, nice and clean. Has a little bit of shine to it. Steering wheel is looking a lot better. Center console trim pieces are looking good. I did these back panels as well. Uh, that side was really, really bad. Here's what this side looks like right now. All nice and clean. It's a little bit uh, messed up right over here, so don't worry about that. I did the carpets on this side. Looking a lot better. It's just. Yeah, as you can see, and then over here, it kind of looks dirty on camera, but it's actually clean in person. And then I did this, and this one's kind of dirty. Not much I could do with that. But anyway, here's what the steering wheel looks like. Better, just this part's really bad. And the dashboard's all clean. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that BMW. And stay in that Toyota Corolla. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Flip that in a double. double.